Hello, hello, Leo, and welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for April 14th through April 20th, or whenever you come across this message, it's meant for you. I've already shuffled your cards, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this week's theme. I have the cartographer, a crossroads exploration. So potentially there's something you're considering here, you know, decisions having to be made. We've got shaman, trust in higher forces and mindful group think number 40. So zero is the number of endless possibilities and creation. And the number four is going to be a number of stability and foundation. So you know, we just had that solar eclipse in Aries and we're headed into a full moon in Scorpio towards the end of this month, right? So definitely going to be feeling very, um, very much that release and rebuild period. I've got the nine of pentacles coming in for you. So that's independent energy. That's also financial stability, which is amazing, right? Leos have been on their glow up since the last eclipse about six months ago. So think back to what you were working with towards the end of 2023, what themes were running through your life at that time. We also have the Six of Pentacles, right? A more balanced lifestyle, equal give and take. The other thing about the Six of Pentacles, and we're going to clarify all of this, but the other thing about the Six of Pentacles is it's about, um, you know, being either the recipient of charitable donation or you being in a position to be more charitable and giving. You might be finding yourself, because of this mindful group think card, you may be finding yourself in a situation where maybe you're volunteering your time or you're giving of yourself right in community or getting back out there um you could be teaching a class or participating in something like that we've got the death card showing up so scorpio and leo always in each other's readings i know i'm a scorpio sun leo rising so if you've got scorpio in your chart you might want to check out that reading Otherwise, this is going to be about your transformation, right? Which makes sense because that's what we were talking about before being at a crossroads. So what else do we have for Leo this week? Seems to me that some of you also may be making some decisions about how to spend um, your savings is what I just got. So maybe you're considering taking a vacation or investing in your business, right? There's something there, Leo, about um, digging into resources, I've got eight of swords coming through for you, self-limiting beliefs with temperance. This has come up for the collective, literally in every reading. So this is all about alchemizing the energies around you, the healing portion of your experience here, right? Also like taking past hurts and turning them into tomorrow's medicine, right? So that's how I see it. It's a lot of healing taking place and the full card is in your spread next. So this is great. There seems to be this, energy of being on your glow up, right? Releasing the past and really digging deep into like old, old things. That's how it's coming through, which makes sense because of the Mercury retrograde happening all the way through the 25th of April. So this full card is saying that you're going to be a little bit more carefree about things and maybe release some of the control that's been guiding you so far. I'm picking up Leo. Also, the other thing is, is that when you've been in this period of reflection of the recent past, you've thought to yourself, man, I've done all this work internally, externally, and I'm still generating, you know, 90% results, right? I'm not getting exactly what I want. And so that was the catalyst, Leo, to having you look back, like way back, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and even into other timelines. And, you know, take that how it resonates, but that's what's coming through. And there's an energy here of saying, okay, you know, what is blocking my paths? And how can I live my next stage without having having such control. It's more of like, go with the flow and allow what serves you to come towards you because what you want wants you. So the full card again is a more naive energy, more carefree, um, and a letting go to explore, right? So there's a lot of exploratory energy here 
after you get through this eight of swords. So this is very interesting because quite frankly, these are very opposite energies and to have the alchemizing Sagittarian temperance energy in the middle is really fascinating because here you've got self-limiting beliefs and maybe you're selling yourself short, imposter syndrome, all that noise. And then over here, you've got like, you know what? I'm, I'm healing. I'm going to do it. And that is coming through for the collective. But I mean, your reading really is bringing that home. So there's a lot of transformation taking place this week. Um, I feel, I feel a little bit of stress that that's how it's coming through. Like in the beginning of the week, there's maybe this pressure, this stress, and then towards the end of the week, I'm feeling that release. And I just saw the lover's card. So that's a number six, all about choices. And then that's also Gemini energy, but let's see if it comes back up. What else? Oh, that's too many. One moment, Leo, while I regroup. The hanged man, this is, this makes complete sense. So the hanged man is number 12 and that reduces to three. So, and three is empress energy. So the hanged man is always asking you to, to, you know, chill for a second, take a second look at it. And, you know, here this person's hanging from the tree of knowledge and their crown is illumined as if they've just had this aha moment. And this should be the most uncomfortable position to be in, but Quite frankly, this person's like ready to lean into it and allow whatever's going to happen next to happen because you can see like this person can see that maybe they've been stuck in a loop in a rut. You know, there's again blockages. And so it's this explore exploratory period, hmm. exploration period, a time to review. Thank you, Leo. So this is about taking some time and, you know, really reflecting and understanding your position and your possibilities, your positioning, your possibilities. All right. What else do we have for Leo? I've got the king of wands coming through and three of swords, Leo. So, you know, you might be in this position of reliving the hurt, you know, and this king of wands here, you know, this can be someone who is not necessarily the most, um, well, how should I put this? The King of Wands in its positive vibration is always going to have the power to manifest their vision, right? Um, and also fire sign energy, right? So Leo showing up in your reading because this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and this is a visionary, but King of Wands is also... Um, focused on themselves. And I, I want to say this in the most positive way, but the King of Wands can be a very self-serving, but there's nothing wrong with that. And unfortunately we've been given this program that somehow you desiring fulfillment of self and you desiring elevation of self is selfish and somehow wrong. So it's a release of that program, knowing that when you are in your highest, best possible form of yourself, you inspire those around you. And the kings and queens of wands are very inspirational because they're visionaries and they are enthusiastic and they have desire and drive. But there's something here about third party energy. So you might have experienced some sort of heartache or pain, lying, cheating, stealing, or been a part of something that wasn't your highest and best. And maybe that's the energy you're revisiting as you walk into your full right chapter of life starting over. So we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards and see if we can't get more information for you this week, Leo. So go ahead, spirit, and tell me more about this nine of pentacles, six of pentacles, Scorpio death card energy for Leo this week. Again, this is for April 14th through or April 20th. I think I said, let's see. <clears throat> I've got the eight of cups that flew out and I'm going to take it because I've got the five of wands as well. So hold on. Let me take these the way they came out. And let me see. Let me just get a good picture here of what we have, Leo. Okay. So I've got the nine of pentacles being clarified by the eight of cups. So it's this energy here of you are evaluating your position because you want more out of life. And this has come up for every single sign so far this month, like 
what each week rather so the eight of cups right this person is heading towards a better future and even though you can see the moon here above which suggests that maybe they don't even know what's on the other side of the door they don't know what nine and ten of cups looks like but damn it they're tired of eight of cups so again eight of cups is eight full cups that's good right that's there's nothing wrong with that but there's two cups left out there and there's more to explore. And so it's like anything else, you know, when you get to the top of the, you know, when you're the cream of the crop, it's lonely up there. Right. And so it's time to explore because you've mastered whatever thing you've been doing. So Leo, I feel like you are elevating, right? You're going after something and it doesn't necessarily have to be different. It could just be a deeper pursuit of something you already enjoy, but it's something that you're doing to fulfill yourself, right? And this is going to be very profitable for you. So I would say continue after your vision, right? Even if you're not exactly sure how that's going to play out, because we will be entering into Taurus season and that's going to give you more stability and more of a grounded approach to your, um, to the next thing that you're working on. So we've got the six of pentacles being clarified by the five of wands. So I feel like maybe, you know, there's been an energy of so there's two things that are coming through. One is you may have had some difficulty amongst shared resources in your household. So there might be an energy of like, maybe not understanding your resources. Let's say you are sharing your money with a partner. Um, it could be that there's just some, some sort of bickering, something has to come into balance, right? Within your household resources. Um, so take that how it resonates. Um, and it could very well be just, you know, one partner decides to change course go from eight of cups a stable job or a stable environment to you know what I'm going to start my own business right or I'm going to take a leave of absence from work and focused on my mental health whatever it is there's something happening potentially under your roof whether it's you or a partner or a roommate take it how it resonates that um, is maybe upsetting the balance of things financially but I've got the death card here with the ten of swords so whatever it is this transition transformation that's taking place is putting an end to a specific chapter. So again, if you are in a shared resource situation and one partner is switching jobs, right, that's going to kind of change the trajectory of how you live your life currently. Um, and some of you may be, ex you know, looking to move quite frankly, because I see a lot of that too, like a lot of traveling and moving away from a situation. So it may not be a permanent move. It could just be like a travel or, um, mm, I don't know. Let me see if I can't get more from that because that's interesting. Let me pull from this deck one second. Three cards came out chariot, five of cups. Wow. Five of pentacles. So, um, two fives coming in together like that is telling me that, you know, there is some disruption going on. There's some changes happening. Um, you know, there's a feeling here. There's a lot of review being done on your part, Leo. Like there's looking at past the past in your relationships, in your money, um, and your responsibilities, even how you see things spiritually from a spiritual perspective. Um, I, I, I gotta tell you, Leo, I wasn't expecting all this to be honest with you, but this is what's coming through. Things are unraveling for you pretty quickly this week. And this is an opportunity for you to take control of the wheel, right? So the chariot suggests a card of victory, whatever you are working towards is absolutely going to be in your favor, but the, the pace of things are happening pretty quickly and it's having, you maybe feel a little bit on edge. And like I said, whatever this, um, <clears throat> financial situation is going on in your house or in your, you know, day-to-day -day environment, it feels like it does come back into balance. You've got a lot of fives here suggesting change, change, change. But with the chariot card that says that you will rise above the disruption that's happening. I've got the eight of swords being clarified by the strength card. So Leo, check this out. You've had two sevens show up back to back, right? You had eight show up back to back, and now you have two more eight showing up. So it's something to consider, you know, check out what those numbers mean for you. If you were, you know, seeing a lot of repeating numbers, comment below, because certainly all of those angel numbers are your spirit guides trying to communicate with you. Here, this is a really interesting combination because two eights 
What does that tell you? Another balanced approach to materializing your success. Eight is a number of abundance and, you know, achievement, winning, right? Bringing like success material money, right? So where you feel that you have held yourself back, this is going to be a week where you basically handle your demons and this all of this rewind and play that's what take it how it resonates but that is the vision I got and for those of us that are older you know I don't want to call myself out but I'm about to if you all remember the VCR things with a button that say rewind (laughs) take it how it resonates I'm so sorry but they used to have them and for those of you that don't know we used to have tape cassettes yeah google it it's pretty cool anyway I digress. So what I'm seeing here is a rewind and play. And that's what you're doing. But you're being called to sit there and watch that drama one more time, like it's some kind of after school special, right? Because it's exactly what's been holding you back from stepping into your very great and amazing roaring Leo self. So this strength card says, hey, you know what? You can tame these demons because All of it is you as within, so without. So you've got to get right with your past. You've got to get right with your lineage. You've got to get right with yourself, period, right? Um, Whatever you are facing this week, this feels very deep. I've got temperance card with the seven of cups. So temperance, again, is a card of healing, alchemizing, taking past hurts and dramas, turning them into tomorrow's medicine. Best vaccination available to you, Leo. More than one way to pluck this chicken, right? Seven of cups. There are limitless possibilities for you, but you are being led. It's almost like I'm getting this image of once you see exactly how much stronger you are than you used to be. It's almost like when you sit there and you watch that play and rewind of your life and you go, wow, I really have come a long way. And damn, I really have conquered some really heavy, hairy situations I'm healing. I'm doing the thing. It's like a whole new world opens up for you and you start to see like how far you've come, how strong you are, how able and stable you've become over the years living through each one of these lessons. And I feel that as you progress throughout the year, right, in 2024, you're going to find yourself elevating and, you know, constantly just conquering one thing after the other. Because I've got this full card coming through with the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is, you know, eager and excited and wanting to... um I don't know. They want to pursue love. They want to pursue friendships. They want to pursue spiritual connections and art and creativity. And they're all about like the pursuit of happiness. If for those of you, I just heard, I don't know if those of you, um, I think it's called the art of happiness or the pursuit of happiness. It's a movie. Um, and it's a true story. So, uh, you know, I think I have the title wrong, so forgive me, but I would say, um, I think Will Smith plays in it, right? Regardless, that's an amazing, amazing movie. And I think it's also a book and it's a true story. So it's coming up in your reading, maybe watch it. Um, I had one time I was able to sit through the lecture, a lecture of the person who actually lived that. I'm, I'm having a recollection. I haven't thought of this in geez, 15 years. But I sat through, um, through a company thing that we did. I sat through a lecture that he gave a motivational speech, I should say. And so anyway, it's coming through. I think it's called the pursuit of happiness. And that's what I feel, Leo, all of that to say, watch that and, um, see that all things are possible when you literally change your perspective because that's exactly what that was it was all about a perspective shift and dedication to live in a better life but I feel that the difference between what you're going to undergo and what you're going through rather and maybe that portrayal of the pursuit of happiness is that no longer are we in a world that you have to grind that hard to be liberated. This is something that you have control of already. 
So there's something there to consider. I've got the hanged man coming through with the six of cups. You've got a lot of sixes, six of pentacles, six of cups, sixes, again, harmonious balance, harmonious union, um, a number of friendship as well. And this could be things coming full circle for you because the six of cups does, of course, traditionally mean someone from the past or a past situation. But because of this reading, we go back to this is you examining your past. And as a result, it comes full circle, right? This is the examination of your past, examination of your relationships, examination of your friendships, fill in the blank. It's, you know, you are really in this hermit mode that I'm feeling because you're looking to create a vision. And I feel like this time you want to do it right. Magician card coming through with the King of Wands. Like I said, the King of Wands is a visionary, very inspirational and can can really see it and make it happen because the drive behind the King of Wands is unmatched. This energy is, you know, it's basically what happens right before the emperor, right? It's, it's just that SC or CEO determination is how it's coming through. And then the magician card is literally crafting it, making it happen. It's the very first card after the full, and it's literally the next card in your reading after your full card. So the magician has a lemniscot above their crown. And that's saying that, you know, it's like it's coming after the hanged man. So this aha moment is going to place you on a new path. Of, of I'm hearing like a courageous, let me see if I can't get this right. Sorry, my spirit guides talk to me. Well, I'm not sorry, but I mean, my I want to explain. My spirit guides are talking to me and sometimes they show me pictures and every once in a while um, it, it'll, it'll get jumbled up. But it's almost like um, a lion finding its roar. Like <laughs> I've seen the strangest image. Uh, I think there's a meme about it where like a cat looks into a mirror and then the, it sees a lion and you know, so forgive me, but I'm hearing like you go for, you find your inner meow. It goes from meow to roar. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I, it, I have to report the way it comes through. The point is Leo, the magician, you're making it happen for yourself. And that's exactly it. You're making it happen for yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I feel that there is this shedding of guilt. So I have to be honest with you, this is coming through, especially if you've been the nurturer in your family unit, um, you know, traditionally, what would have been called the mother role, but that's out the window. If you're the nurturer in your home, then I feel that you taking the reins of that more masculine drive can bring about these feelings of guilt, right? And I feel like in the past, maybe you're resonating how you were brought up versus how you're running your home. There's something there to that as well. So listen, the best thing I can tell you is times have changed, right? All over the world. So to compare yourself to what you had been through, what you had experienced, is a moot point. You got to sit through it, of course, heal up, right? Heal up because there are better days ahead and you're actually seeing that you're sitting in better days already. So allow yourself not to have too much of this five of wands energy, which is competition, right? Allow yourself the freedom to explore a new path because we've got the three of swords being clarified by the four of pentacles. This is just telling me you're guarded, right? past hurts, past heartaches have really put you in a position to be closed off. And that seems to me what you're exploring even further this week, because you do want to be back in community. So if we go back to the theme of your reading, the cartographer at a clock at a crossroads with exploration, it's like, you know, you recognize that it's time to be the lion or the lioness, take it how it resonates. You know, you, re you recognize that it's time to shine the way you're meant to. And if that means that you've got to change 110 things out of 100 to do it, I see you pursuing that path. Again, shaman, trust in higher forces. So now we can circle back and say, look, things are divinely guided and they're happening for you and you're trusting your intuition, even though you're not 100% sure where this nine and 10 of cups is leading you, you're taking the chance, You're the full card, right? Because you are now, the magician. And you understand that no matter what happens when you get around that corner, you know, that stairwell, each step goes, goes up, 
And that's what you got to remember. So, all right, Leo, let's see. What is your shadow work this week? What's the shadow work for Leo, please? Shadow work for Leo number 22. So you ended with a four. You ended with the four of pentacles, right? You started with a four, which was the group think. And so that's fascinating. You've got the four of pentacles here. And where is that card? Mindful group think. So your reading started with a four, four zero. Here we have four again. And then 22. This is all about getting into balance. Four is about foundation and twos are about relationships. There might be something going on in your relationship. And like I said, I see it coming through like resources and just like a shuffling of like, you know, what, what we're doing next, that kind of stuff, like a planning. But with 22, it says, I won't cry for you anymore. So if you are going through any kind of upset that's having you reevaluate your position in your relationship, I feel like you are being divinely guided to this experience so that you can find your own voice while being in relationship and community, right? That's what spirit wants. They want you to be as unique as possible because we're all very different and still be able to vibe your unique self within community or relationship. And also there's like, you know, a healing here. We go back to the temperance, an alchemy of the past. You're not going to cry about it anymore. You see it differently and you're able to resolve that hurt. So that's the shadow work this week. It's like in order not to cry and, and, and I, when I say cry, you know, be in pain. So in order not to sit in this loop of pain, it's almost like you have to understand it and examine it from an observer for, and from an observer perspective so you can release it. And, you know, thank it as well. You know, unfortunately, when we go through these awful situations, we forget that there's a reason we had to. And I, people don't love when I say this, but I mean, let's get real with ourselves. You know, things, you know, if you believe everything happens by accident, I would find it really strange that you would have sat through this portion of a reading this long. So, you know, you're obviously, there's a part of you that's exploring the forces that be. And, you know, with this shaman card coming through as, you know, the higher forces to trust it, I just feel like, you know, it's this exploration of self that you're going through this week. And again, retrograde energy supports that. And, you know, it's about healing and thanking the life lessons that put you in the worst possible positions because when you really understand why it happened, the energetics of it all, how the wheel of fortune turns, and we're meant to explore and experience the polarities of all energies, you can ride the wave with more ease. And instead of being dedicated and committed to a life of sadness and loneliness and upset and turmoil, you can turn that around and saying, okay, I'm experiencing maybe not the best vibration, but that's because I'm headed to greatness. I've got to sit in it. What do I need to learn? So I know that was a bit of a rant, but that's really what's coming through for you, Leo. It's about the alchemy of the past for your future of ease and enlightenment tomorrow. And the truth is, is that the most important place to be is here because everything is happening now, right? So to be present is the goal. All right. So what's the empath work for Leo this week, please? Guys, spirit's amazing, okay? Because this is the entire reading wrapped up into one card. And it's also 32, which reduces to five. You guys have been seeing a lot of that. So breaking the chain of repeating cycles. Leo, this is all about getting out of the loop, right? Getting out of the loop. And to get out of the loop, you have to sit in the central position and be able to see both sides of the coin and say, okay, what is happening? Why do I always think this way? Why is my algorithm so small? What do I have to do to expand out of this period of contraction? So if you can imagine that a lemniscot, right, the number eight on its side is a lemniscot. And on one side is limitless possibility. In the central position is the birthing container, right? The, the womb, the, you know, the thing. And then on the other side, the experience. So 
in order to get there, it's uncomfortable. You have to go from all the ideas and funnel that into a very painful, right? Birthing experience. It doesn't feel great, but let's just say you've, you, you know, you understand that it's temporary. And then on the other side is again, all of the limitless possibilities and expansion, contraction, and we go and we flow. So this is temporary, Leo. It's so temporary, but it's going to lead to the most amazing and incredible days ahead. You have to trust in the higher forces. You have to trust that you are the higher force and that you are in control. Leo, I love this for you. I see you breaking cycles, getting into right relationship with yourself. I see a financial glow up just ahead. I would say between May and June, you will experience a financial relief, but this is about the refinement process that's gonna bring you that ease. So remember that we are all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. This is a general reading. So if you're looking for a more personal experience, please visit my website at www.starswithstasi.com where you can order your astrological charts, tarot readings, or mediumship readings. As well, I'm on all platforms at Stars with Stasi, so feel free to follow me at Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the places, and my content will be changing quite a bit this year as I evolve as well. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today, Leo, and until next week, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Shine brightly, Leo, and I'll see you next week.